How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of Pilsner up in this piece in the form of Bunker Brewing. It is their machine. Yes, this is a Czech-style Pilsner coming in at 5.2% alcohol by volume. Brewed and canned by Bunker Brewing, Portland, Maine. And it has a little bit of time on it. So this is, let's see, 11, 12, 1, 2, 4 months old. 4 months old, but 4 months old for a Czech Pilsner. I don't think it'll be that big of an issue. I picked this up in PA. I had to go over to the PA today to do a couple errands and stopped in a couple of places I never stopped before. And they had some beers that were kind of unique. Uh, I've had bunker stuff before, but I've never seen it on the shelves local to me. So I'm kind of excited. I think all the bunker I've had actually has been um, has been collabs, maybe. So we'll see what's what. Um, hazy, hazy little uh, little uh, pills action. Label wise, it's cool. Yeah, I dig on it. I like it. It's got a little back and forth, little lines and stuff, a little little tire tread. What do you want? Um, and yeah, I mean, that looks more like a hazy pale than a, a Pilsner, but on um, a filtered front. It's not all too uncommon. Nice, rich, hazy glow, soft carbonation, pinky finger of white as white could be head. Let's get a nose. There's this really nice kind of grapefruit sweetness thing going on here. So I'm getting this kind of soft, clean, crisp kind of lager vibe off of it. But on the other end of things, there's a sweetness that has this softness to it. That's kind of not necessarily confectionery, but not a sharp sweetness that leans into this kind of grapefruity kind of hop. It just smells really, really nice. I mean, it smells like a really well done new school kind of super crusher. 5.2%. I don't know if I said that earlier. Let's just dive in. Cheers. Yes, time has not treated this beer badly. Um, it is vibrant. Um, that grapefruit kind of merges more into kind of an all-encompassing kind of citrus thing. Reminds me very much of more like a like not an IPL but like a ha like a hazy pale lager. You know, an HPL, I guess you would say. The way it kind of comes off. And this nice kind of citrus kind of rides throughout it. This really nice soft mouthfeel, but it finishes crisp and clean. So you get that, that bonus of a little bit of softness from the beer. But it's also kind of crispy, so it's kind of that weird kind of fits both roles kind of beers, which I kind of like. And honestly, that's pretty much it. Really robust citrus, but not overly sweet. A little bit of rindiness in there. A little bit of kind of like tannic bittering with it also. And then you just get that nice kind of softness with that crisp, clean finish. And just a really tasty, really drinkable, really chuggable beer. You're talking about three months. Hazy. Zero negative on this. There's nothing as far as hop creep going on with the aggressive hopping that's on here that has to be aggressive hopped. I'm surprised they didn't call out the actual hop itself on here. Um, and... And... and, and since you have that bit of time, no, as far as off flavor, as far as like your typical stuff you would get with your dimethyl sulfide or your diacetyl or anything like that, and just comes off a really tasty, drinkable beer. What more do you want? I'll tell you what. Let's cut to the chase. Is this one of the better Czech style pills that I've had as of late? I'll say yes, only because this is very much not Czech pills for me. Um, this is very new school American style pilsner. Is it one of those? Um, one of the better ones of those I've had as of late, yes, without a doubt. Probably Mount Rushmore status. It's up there with the kind of threes of a let kind of uh, level of hazy uh, pills, and I kind of dig it. Um, bag availability, that's the best thing about this beer. I picked this up eh, 15 minutes away from my house. $10.59 four pack, all MF and day, and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like those new school American Pilsners, they have that nice kind of new school kind of hopping without being over heavily handed. And you want that kind of nice drinkability that you get with a Pilsner because that's what this beer has and has in spades in a very, very delicious kind of way. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out in the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out in the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a little bunker right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.